Why in 1981 did you decide to head to Colorado Springs to the Air Force Academy and dedicate your life to the country and the service? Well, I was, uh, I was at a base in England at the time. I was going to high school overseas. And uh, I loved the sound of the airplanes. I, I loved uh, uh, what they were doing. And I always thought that, you know, how great it would be to fly, fly a fighter. There were fighters on that base. Uh, but, and it, it may sound a little, it may sound a little cheesy, but I'll, I'll, I'll give you a couple stories. Uh, my father was enlisted in the Air Force. He didn't have a lot of money. And we, we traveled around Europe a lot, but we camped. And we camped in a lot of places. And my father uh, took the family camping, uh, and we went to, uh, to West Berlin to a campground. It's a long story in the, in the 70s uh, of how you got to Berlin. You had to go through East Germany. There were uh, complicated ways to get through it, but we drove as a family, and, and we were in West Berlin. And we camped to this campground that was up against the wall. And I was just perplexed as a as a high school student to see the wall and the barbed wire and the and the cameras and and to it's one thing to talk about that kind of division and oppression and it was another for me as a 15 16 year old to to just to look at that and I I never forgot that and that was a big reason why I wanted to join why mm -hmm. I wanted to serve.